Tsi and my sister Eureka Tsi with the Tsi Group. We're here to bring you our newest listing, 19880 Sar- Seagull Way in Saratoga. We're going to try something new. This is about our 15th virtual open house uh, in the COVID era. And we're going to try a show. So we've produced a 20 to 25 minute show for you. Meanwhile, this is going to be broadcast on YouTube, Facebook Live. You can ask us questions interactively, and we're going to answer them on the fly. We're also going to be here live for you after the show to answer any more questions and maybe take a closer look at anything that you want us to show you at the house. And not only that, I think the owners are even on. Yeah. Hi. So the owners are on. So if you guys have some super tricky questions for us that we don't know the answers to, I'm going to be texting them to, you know, get those quick answers for you. Also, if you didn't already know, not to toot his horn more, but Andy is definitely the preeminent Saratoga expert. So if you have any questions about this market in particular, or even our whole day area market, throw those in the chat and we'll answer those after the recorded session. All right, everybody. So hop on your phones if you have questions. Here we go. Enjoy the show. I'm Eureka Tsi with the Tsi Group at Intero in Saratoga. I'm so excited that you're joining me today for our virtual open house for 19880 Seagull Way in Saratoga. This home has got about 2,500 square feet on just a little bit over of a quarter of an acre, 12,200 square feet. It's got five bedrooms, one of which is a ground floor bedroom and three full baths. Also, one of the bathrooms is on the ground floor. This is a fantastic home in a beautiful neighborhood. This is the Greenbrier community, also known as the Blue Hills community. This home in the back has a pool in the backyard and it's got it's situated in a beautiful neighborhood. This neighborhood is one of my favorites in all of Saratoga. Seagull Way specifically is also a really famous and known street within Saratoga. This is the kind of community where people love to live and they love to stay here for a long time. When I joined the real estate business 16 years ago, one of the very first homes that I sold was on Seagull Way. And you know what? Those people still live here today. Not only that, the people that sold those people that home own two homes on Seagull and they still live here as well. These guys, these guys were here for 14 years. They raised four kids in this home in this wonderful community before moving out of state. I know you're gonna love this home. Let me tell you a little bit more about the community. Okay, before we go inside the house, why don't you take a ride with me and let's go take a look at the schools and the parks that are by this house. Okay, so Seagull Way is part of the Greenbrier community. Um, There's a lot of really neat things about this community. There's 175 homes in it and they do some pretty neat things. They've got um, an annual spring clean So twice a year they get dumpsters and everyone can just kind of throw out the junk that they don't need in their houses. They also have a spring social every year. Something else that they do is the city of Saratoga plants these, um, you know, really pretty flowers. They change them out a few times a year and that's part of the tax bill for the people who live here in this part of Saratoga. Um, Another really cool thing, and this kind of goes without saying, the schools here are so excellent, but the schools are Um, both California distinguished schools, all of them, elementary, middle, and high school, and also national blue ribbon schools. And the way you become a national blue ribbon schools is you rank within the top 15% within your state for performance and also for high school graduation rates. So that's, you know, just one of the excellent things about these schools. So the high school for 19880 Seagull Way is Lindbrook High. I don't know if you know this, but when you live in Saratoga, based upon your address, you can go to up to six different high schools. And the one for Seagull is Lindbrook. One thing that's really a standout is this last month in April of 2020, Lindbrook was rated in the top 100 by the US News and World Report for high schools across the nation. It was ranked at number 98. To give you an idea of the other schools in the area, 
Saratoga High School was rated at 169th. Monta Vista, which is also in the Cupertino School District, was rated at 119th. Um, the, some of the other schools in the area up in Palo Alto, Gunn High School was ranked at 153, Pali or Palo Alto High School was ranked at 230th, and Los Gatos High School was ranked at 748. So well done, Lindbrook, and now you can really see why there are so many people who live in this school district, whether it be in Cupertino or West San Jose, and when they move to Saratoga, they really want to be in Saratoga with Lindbrook School. You know, overall, where Seagull Way is located, it's just in such a central location. You're close to the supermarket, Safeway's right down the street, and even the Cupertino Whole Foods isn't far away when you just hop on De Anza Boulevard. And in addition to that, there's something kind of cool called Joe's Trail. And along Joe's Trail, it's like around a 1.4 mile trail, and it goes along the railroad tracks and you can access it right off of Cox Avenue. So that's another neat little, you know, tidbit about this community. So another great feature of this home, um, just when you come out the driveway, if you go right down Seagull and then turn left on Cox, your very first right on Glen Bray, just a two minute drive or a 10 minute walk and you're at Congress Springs Park. Okay, so just a two minute drive from the house or a 10 minute walk is Congress Springs Park. This is where you've got little league games happening, AYSO soccer, and there's also a playground. So lots of fun activities for everybody. Okay, so just a 10 minute walk from the house, you have Azul Park, which is managed by the city of Saratoga. It's pretty awesome. It's got two playgrounds, one for the little kids, one for the bigger kids, and it also has a tennis court and then a huge grass area. So lots of fun for everybody. So another nice thing about this neighborhood is in addition to the Azul Park, you have this walkway that goes over Highway 85. It connects this park to another park called Kevin Moran Park, where it's a little bit bigger and they also have AYSO soccer for the little kids. Also, if you wanted to walk to the middle school or high school or bike, it's an 11 minute bike ride, you could take this overpass to bike to school. Okay, so now we're in Kevin Moran Park, so right over that highway overpass, over 85. You've got big, huge green fields here. Right now it's a little warm. We're here in the afternoon, but there's still, you know, people playing sports. But in the evening, you get a lot of walkers in this neighborhood. So it's just such a nice feature to have so many parks so close to the home. It's one of the reasons what makes Saratoga so special and specifically the Greenbrier neighborhood so special. Before we head inside, I just wanted to show you some of the nice features of the, of the outside. We just had the home painted, fresh exterior paint. Uh, the colors are very much on trend. They were even on the cover of the Kelly Moore Outdoor Book. The seafoam green on the front door is so friendly and inviting, so can't wait for you to see that. Uh, we've got a line of Japanese maples here lining the street. Um, and then the, some of the other plants we have here, we've got a bird of paradise, we've got agapanthus behind me, and also, I'll show it to you later when we're by the sheds, but there's a large double gate, so if you needed to bring in anything big, you're all set. Hi, I'm so excited to show you this gorgeous home. I know you're gonna love it. So first, things off the bat, you come into this beautiful natural stone tile, and you even have this nice medallion insert here on the floor. And then you have this beautiful, inviting, curved stairwell. And then the first things that your guests are really gonna see is your beautiful living room. You've got the cathedral ceiling in here. You have the recessed lighting and you have a wood burning fireplace with a marble surround. And also all these lights are on Lutron dimmers. The next main area that you're gonna see is this awesome family room. So these floors were just refinished. They have a darker stain, so they're really modern and exciting. That's another wood-burning fireplace over there. You've got a slate surround on that one and a granite uh, mantle. And then, you know, this room really gets extended because you've got a sliding glass door right to the exterior. So, you know, for activities, going out, going out to this uh, terrace patio, perfect. This, I've gotta say, is one of my favorite features of the house. So this kitchen was redone six years ago and it is just dialed, you know, top to bottom. 
so on trend. I love these colors. You've got the frosted glass in the backsplash. All of these drawers are on a slow close, which are perfect. You've got the faucet that is both the standard faucet or the swan neck. So either way there, you got the pull down. You've got a lot of these large pullouts in here, so they're perfect for your pots and pans. You also have a pantry with pullouts in here. You also have these. These are these frosted glass display cabinets. I really like this because a lot of times the idea of display cabinets is nice, but you don't always want to show everything. So this is just the right touch. And then of course, you've got the Lazy Susan here in the corner, and you even have one up top as well. So, you know, no detail has been overlooked in this, in this uh, kitchen. Another thing that I really like is the under cabinet lights. Okay, so that'll take you into here. We're in our formal dining room. We've also got the recessed lighting in here. I love this beautiful crystal chandelier. Another thing that I really like is how you also have outdoor access over here. When you've got a large sliding glass door next to an open space, it just extends the visual field of your room and just makes everything look larger. So I really like this design. Okay, so now come around the corner with me and I'm gonna show you another super feature. So this is a five bedroom home and even if you don't necessarily need it for yourself, one thing that I can tell you for sure that buyers are looking for is a ground floor bedroom and full bath. So let's head into the bedroom first. So you've got this nice spacious bedroom and this is a queen size bed. So you know it's a really good size. You've got this nice closet here. The closet has dividers and organizers already, drawers, and it also has a cedar lining, which everyone is always looking for. Next step is, this is gonna be both your kind of powder room guest bath and also just your full ground floor bath. You've got a granite countertop, you've got that shower with all the nozzles, you've got double recessed niche and a granite bench, which is awesome. Another thing you've got on your ground floor is your laundry room. So it's really nice to have, you know, the interior laundry and this also serves as a mudroom. And then if you go through into the garage, you're gonna see the Rakio system, which is a smart irrigation system, which they have installed and it's so neat. It connects with the internet and it actually connects with the weather forecast so that, you know, no thinking involved. Like, are you gone and is it raining? No problem, you know, your Rakio system's got you covered. One thing we didn't point out earlier, you got a coat closet here. So perfect for guests. Another thing that I know a lot of buyers in the Saratoga community are looking for is this is an east facing front door. So I know for Vastu, that's one of the things that people are really looking for. And another quick detail before we head upstairs is that we've got this Nest thermostat here. So the Nest thermostat is, um, you know, something that everyone's looking for in a smart home. Okay, let's go upstairs. So I love this beautiful new modern light fixture that we put in. You've got the stained glass window. You've got this nice built-in shelf, perfect for your decorative accents. And these real hardwood floors on the stairs were just freshly resurfaced. Join me into the master. So in the master bedroom, I feel like it's got so many of the features that you're looking for. Nice and spacious. I love how it's situated to the back of the house, overlooking the backyard. Nice for privacy, nice for quiet. You've got the raised ceiling and you also have the recessed lights and you also have the reading lights next to the bed. Great feature. Next, we're heading into the master bath. This was redone six years ago. So very first stop is that walk-in closet that you cannot miss. You know, everyone is looking for a walk-in closet whenever you're looking for the home, right ladies? Next thing, as you come into this bath, you're gonna see the really nice oversized master shower stall. It's got all those modern, um, modern, tiles, you've got the mosaic glass tiles, recessed niche, built-in glass shelving, and you also have the rainfall and the massage shower head. 
This is one of the special features I really like about this house. There's so much cabinetry. So in here you've got kind of his and hers, really large oversized cabinets, in addition to the medicine cabinets, these drawers, and even more storage space on the other side. So for all of those bathroom products that we buy too much of, we got you covered. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna show you the whole house fan. It's a really great feature. It's by Airscape and you can set the timer so it can go for up to 12 hours, which is really nice. Heading over here to one of the bedrooms, you've got this linen closet here, which is really nice. You have this bedroom, which is east facing, nice and bright towards the front of the house. And you've got, again, one of these nice closets with the organizers and the cedar lining. All of the rooms in this house have overhead lights, which I really like. So you don't have to worry about floor lamps or things like that for, you know, for lighting any room. Next stop is this bathroom. This bathroom was also done six years ago. It has tile all along the floors and along the far wall. You've got the obscure glass window. You also have this nice hinged glass shower and enclosure. You've got a jacuzzi tub and you also have the recessed niche and the built-in shelf in the corner, which is really nice. Two more rooms upstairs and that'll make a total of five. So next stop is gonna be your office. The office is really nice because most people, when you want a five bedroom, one of the intentions is for one of the rooms to be an office. So I really love this space. This desk, of course you can get a different one if you want to, but this one definitely perfectly fits the space. It's so nice, you know, it's nice of the owners that they left it here for the next owner just because it, it's a perfect fit. A couple other little features in here. If you did want to use this room as a normal bedroom, you do have the closet with the organizers and the cedar lining and bonus ladies. You've got this jewelry case which is just perfect for, I'll tell you what, I got one of these at home and I love it. I love how you can see everything at once. And then I think the husbands will love it too because I think it makes you buy less jewelry because you actually realize how much jewelry you have. Okay, one more bedroom across the hall. So join me. This bedroom is really spacious as well. You also have the raised ceilings in here You've got the recessed lighting. It's also in the back, overlooking the backyard and the pool. And you also have in the closet, you've got the organizers and the cedar lining. I mean, in this home, really no detail has been overlooked. You know, everything is ready for you just to move in and enjoy your new home. Ready to go to the backyard? Let me show you. Love these heavy sliding glass doors or dual pane windows. So this is such a great backyard for entertaining. I'm sure they had many a party, uh, you know, end of school year party in here. You've got the pool, you've got this beautiful trellis back patio, which really can seat so many. Like, I mean, just showing here, we're showing it seated for 14 people, uh, which is terrific. It's a nice, spacious lot. This lot is over a quarter of an acre. It's 12,200 square feet. Another really nice thing is you've got these tall trees here in the back. So it's just really nice for privacy. Um, you know, it's just something that everyone's looking for. And, but at the same time, it's really flat and you've got this great grass area. So, you know, it's perfect for, you know, playing soccer, playing catch. Or just if, even if you have a pet, just letting your pet run around. Nice pool here, really refreshing for those hot days. I mean, this backyard I feel like is really just perfect for anyone who really wants to have their home be their own sanctuary. And then we've got a new fence over here and on that other side, we've got a couple of large sheds, one that's eight by eight, one that's 12 by 12, and then we also have a double gate. So 
So we got the two large sheds over here and then also the double gate entry. Let me just show you this. Oops. Oh, well, maybe you can just take a look in there. Nice big 12 by 12 custom made gate, or uh, 12 custom made shed. So this is a huge side yard, so really tons of possibilities, you know, back here. Definitely room for raised planter beds if you'd like to add some of that and do some organic gardening. Thank you so much for joining me on this virtual tour. I hope you really enjoyed what you saw. If you want to come back for a private showing, reach out to me. My name's Eureka, and you can reach me at 408-813-2358. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Here you go. We were watching on our phones. Yeah, we were, we were busy texting all of you guys. Thank you so much for your comments. All right, so we're in our favorite part of the house. This is a breakfast bar that's overlooking the backyard. Um, we've got our Thermador um, cooktop with a four gas burner range. Somebody was asking what the schools are. So the school here is Cupertino Schools. It's Limbrook High, it's, it's, Miller, it's Miller Middle, and it's Blue Hills Elementary. So my kids actually have gone, I had a, a graduate from Limbrook two years ago, a senior this year, um, a, an eighth grader that's graduated from Miller, and I've got another one at Meyer Bolts. And Meyer Bolts, by the way, has the CLIP program, the Chinese Language Immersion Program, that a lot of people that want to learn Chinese are, are, are doing. So, um, and just a quick shout out to his daughter, Ava, because he won't do it. She's an eighth grade graduate this year from Miller, and since this video is going to live on forever, she was number one graduate of all the girls for the eighth graders. So and I, they give her an audition. I'll put it on my Facebook um, maybe later today. It's kind of fun. It's kind of exciting. Yeah, we we're just so, so proud of her. So I had to throw the shout out to her. The schools are excellent. Obviously, he lives by him. You want to tell him how you're building a house with these schools in Saratoga? Yeah, so another thing that I'm doing is I'm building a house to live in here in Saratoga. It's almost done. It's taken two years. Um, but I'll, I'll, be, I'll be one of your neighbors if you move in this area. So um, you want to? So, oh, there's another thing that I wanted to show you that I made a slight mistake on, but you're going to love it even more for the last two. And what that is, is our front door not only faces east, let's see going to the door. It's northeast. It's northeast. It's like two parts east, one part north. So like, all, you know, everything that you can Even want. Even better. You know, something that's funny is um, we actually had a live bird fly into that house like about five minutes ago. So we've been frantic trying to get the bird out. It's, anything happens on these virtual open houses. So uh, he's Andy. I'm Eureka. You can reach out to any of us. Our number is there. If you want to have a private showing of this house, we're doing it really safely. We disinfect every time and we know that you're going to fall in love with this house just like we have. Thanks everyone. Thanks for watching.